Google Arts and Culture is a platform to make arts and culture more accessible to people around the world using Google's tools. Open Heritage is a project that we recently launched with SciArc to document and, and scan and, and digitally preserve artifacts and architecture and heritage sites, uh, making it accessible so people can download and use it. When we were approached by Google Arts and Culture to say, hey, how do we start to make some of these artifacts? How do we start to realize those physically? How do we get people hooked, get people excited about seeing this thing in a museum context or uh, in a research context? And so we turned to 3D printing at that stage. So this is a, a temple from Thailand that was captured with photogrammetry and 3D laser scanning, and it was printed on a Stratasys J7 50 uh, 3D printer in color all in one go and now we have the ability to showcase these beautiful models in different locations and museums and expos. Materials are everything. I think for the last you know, 20 years the additive manufacturing industry has been really held down by the lack of development in materials and with this sort of new wave of materials, um, full color, uh, higher finish, um, better flexibility, better mechanical properties, um, really allows us to get closer to, to final prototypes and final products right off the machine. There are many outputs and possibilities to use it. One of those examples is uh, actually the plaster casts that uh, Alfred Maudsley made in Guatemala. He brought those uh, photographs back and those plaster casts back and they've been actually in storage at the British Museum since that time, more than a hundred years. Uh, have gone by, they've been in storage. We have used a 3D laser scanner to scan those objects and then to virtually reassemble them and put them together as 3D models that people can see online. So this object, the Stela, one of the largest uh, freestanding monuments in the ancient Americas, was printed on a Stratasys J750 3D printer. I believe this is more than 30 different plaster casts all put back together as one and it gives us the ability to print it at different scales and have multiple copies of it around the world. When we talk to arts and culture preservationists, historians, museum curators, they're all amazed by um, the ability to fabricate these things with such high fidelity. 